Hey there, crazy kids. I am the good old gamer, and we're back to playing more Mass Effect 3. Got a few things to uh, mention before we really get started into the game again. Uh, first things first, I have a new microphone, so commentary may sound a little bit different. Just going to get that out of the way for you. Um, next thing is I've already played out and recorded being here in the Citadel this first time and then getting back on the Normandy and exploring the Normandy. Um, and then I uh, got the videos rendered out and realized that uh, I didn't have some of the footage. So that means I get to play it all out again for you guys. But that's fine. It's fun. So we'll get right into it. Um, some of you may have seen a little bit of this already because I uploaded some of that footage to YouTube before I realized I didn't have some bits and pieces. So that's why I'm mentioning it. Otherwise I wouldn't even bother to mention it. But anyways, let's hop right back into it. So here we are on the Citadel. This is our map. This is actually a very handy map in this game, at least on the Citadel. It tells us where the important people are. There's a lady here named Deanna Allers. Then over on the embassy, embassies area, we can find Udina. And then in the hospital is Dr. Chakwas, Dr. Michelle, and Ashley. And th these are the only areas we can get to on the Citadel right now. Later on we'll be able to get to more, but that'll be after we do a f another main mission or two. So let's go see what's around here right now. Hey there, Keeper. How you doing? Let's talk to Avina. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. What's with the heightened security? New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing of the security stations in each docking area. Citadel security screening technology uses highly advanced biometric authentication systems developed by the CERTA Foundation. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. Any other important areas I should know about? Docking Bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. What else is in the area? You are standing in docking area D-24. According to your biometrics file, you are cleared to access further information about this bay. This is the airlock currently assigned to the Systems Alliance ship Normandy. If you look out the bay window, you can see one of the many magnificent vistas for which the Citadel is renowned. What about that room over there? The waiting area is for those who wish to speak to our new arrivals. It is located next to security processing. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. That's cool. It's good to see you again, Avina. Ma'am, I can't say when we're deploying or where or why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. It was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? He did, didn't he? I'm right so behind you. He be here unless he's seeing the council. Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard. Hey, you finally noticed? What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? 
Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. Yep, I'm pretty sure that that dress you're wearing would not really be allowed in the military, even for a reporter. But hey, you're a war asset and you'll give us good PR, so whatever. One thing I gotta say, I like how these backgrounds of these levels aren't just static. You can see people walking around and ships flying around and it's really pretty cool. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Let's go to the hospital. One moment, please. Check on Ashley. Talk to some doctors. We saw on the map that Dr. Chakwas was over there. Maybe we can get her back on the ship. Since apparently we don't have a doctor on the Normandy now yet. Arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Hey, a store. Welcome to Serta. Oh, look at all this. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? I'm guessing that these items right all here from sales go to help new medical research. are gifts for the crew. The biggest point of that would be organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. This right here, Tennyson, seems like something that Ashley would want. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. And then of course the flowers and all that other stuff. And Medigel capacity increased by Serta one. Is a non profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. I'm gonna get these. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? Thank you for shopping. Nice. Lots of stuff. Doctor Chuck was. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Hmm. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. <laughs> And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. You know you love Joker, Dr. Chakwas. Karen Chakwas. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Huerta Memorial Hospital. The human specialist medical officer in charge is Dr. Michel. Also, please note that specialists for all known Citadel species are on call. Please ensure that you observe proper decontamination protocols at all times while in this area. 
You can really cover treatment for any kind of species here? Huerta Memorial surpasses all requirements needed for any multi-species medical facility. This facility's attendant levels can also replicate the living conditions needed to accommodate other, more exotic species. Aquatic environments, for example, are available on short notice. What about the medical staff? How do they deal with so many species? All personnel are required to undergo mandatory and regular psychological evaluations, as well as refresher courses. Hospital administration understands how difficult it can be for staff to deal with such a wide variety of patients. It is imperative they be offered the support needed to retain their current high standards. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking Bay E24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. What else is in the area? The Huerta Memorial Hospital has experts from every major race and residency, with many specializing in Xenomedicine. The facility works with prestigious medical universities from around the galaxy, offering internships to residents and nurses. With access to cutting-edge technology and support from major pharmaceutical companies, the hospital ensures the best care to its patients. Where'd the hospital get its name? It is named after President Christopher Huerta of Earth's United North American States. The donor who requested the tribute expressed the desire to remain anonymous. Thank you. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Citadel wouldn't be the same without you, Avina. Really wouldn't. Whoa. That was weird. So, the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. And wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? W what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Huh. All right. Dr. Michelle, she's from Mass Effect 1. Lovely. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. That's nice. Still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. 
Nothing. Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Medigel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I... I... I don't understand. It, it doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Man, sucks for that guy. Shepard. I should have known you'd pull through. You're stubborn. Always were. It scared me pretty bad back there on Mars. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Oh, that was nice and sweet. In case you hadn't realized, Mass Effect 3 is a very character-driven game. Which is actually kind of nice. It makes you really want to care about the characters. Not too many games do that. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. Time to go to the embassy. One moment, please. Can't wait to talk to Udina. That's always fun. Or the council. I'm sure they'll really want to help. But first, Avina. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osoba. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Where's the Spectre Requisitions Office? The Spectre Requisitions District Office is down the hallway to your left. Note that requisition forms are available only to agents whose biometrics are verified and on file. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking bay E24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Lovely. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batarian hegemony has been destroyed by an unknown force. Please tell the Primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the Human Alliance. 
That's a collectible side mission thingy. We'll be doing that a little later. We'll be having a lot of those little collectible side missions from the Citadel later on. Hello, dear. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. But we spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only... He hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am. But the notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet for so long. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. Thank you. You're such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me of my daughter. Ha ha. Ah, Shepard assaulting Asari while eavesdropping on other conversations. Fun, fun. Commander Bailey, how are you? There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Thanks for shutting the door. <laughs> 